Praise the Lord. Let me greet you all in the name of Jesus. And I'm so glad to be with you all. I just wanted to let you all know that I'm here. And I thought about this morning, it is a divine appointment that God sent me this morning with you all. My cousin, Susan George, passed away and I had to go for the funeral. I was planning to go through Boston. All the flights canceled, so I have to come through New York. And uh, when I look back and I said, God, you are brought me here for a reason. So I've taken, when pastor asked me to share the word, I taken this as a, knowing that God brought me here this morning to share my heart with you, which God been speaking to my heart, my own life. He's challenging me. And I'm so glad that, uh, that I be with you all. Thank you for pastor for giving me this opportunity and all of you, and I just wanted to tell you that your prayers being with us, with our family, just not me alone, because we have another connection that uh, your own uh, Marianne is being with us, and your prayers being so good to all of us. The baby is growing, and uh, uh, thank you for all your prayers that God has been as a family. He is uh, protecting us, keeping us in that place for a reason. And thank you for all of your prayers. Anyway, a couple more months, she will be back here. Maybe you all are praying more than I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to, even though I may, we may lose them, but I hope and pray that it will be a gain for church and this city. And for that, uh, I continue to ask for prayer. So let us together, before uh, taking any more time, I just wanted to uh, get into the word of God. So don't take it as he says, oh, she is speaking. I wanted to request, ask the Lord to speak to you through the word of God. Take a moment to close our eyes before the Lord. We are in the presence of the Lord. God's inspired word of God by the Holy Spirit. It's powerful. Sharper than two edges sword. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Spirit of God. We are your church. God, you build your church. No powers of the hell will not prevail. We thank you for. You are building your church. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, so that this morning by your spirit, you will speak to us, minister to us, and Lord, Father, for that, help us, Lord, Father, to listen to your voice. Help me, Lord, hallelujah, to be your voice. I humble myself into your hands. So use me, Lord, this morning to be your voice and touch your people, minister to your people, Deliver your people, hallelujah, so that master through your word, we will be able to bear much fruit in all seasons in the name of Jesus. For that, equip us. And I thank you, Lord, what you are going to do this morning in this place. And we give you glory, honor for that. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let us turn to the word of God, to John the gospel chapter 15, two verses, five and eight.
Can somebody read it? Help me uh, to read, and I hope uh, we'll put it on the oh, head. Praise the Lord. Because of the uh, short time, I don't want to get into too many areas that, you know, you are uh, definitely, I know this church have heard enough of word about bearing fruit. We need to understand one thing that Israel as the wine could not, you know, able to bear much fruit or unable to keep up with the God's commandment, you know. So we know that Isaiah chapter 5 talking about that. And because of that, in the New Testament, God himself is telling that I am the wine. And you are the branches. Very clearly talking to us. And I wanted to tell you, God ministered to me personally as a family. This word very clearly, very this time. I just came back from India. Then I realized that in the busyness, so many ministries and all the time going. Three weeks I was there. I was not able to study the word of God, stay in the word of God. I was so busy ministering and running. Prayer was there, but I didn't have a, a consistent studying the word of God. So this, when I came back, I realized I had a momentum of the spirit was able to do something for the beginning of the uh, January onwards. A lot of deliverance started happening in the church. In that great momentum, I went to church, uh, India. But with the excitement gone there, but I realized after coming back, there is something I'm missing. Because I didn't able to abide in the word. It is so important for us as children of God we need to abide in the word and his presence. Without that relationship through the word of God, we cannot do anything. But through this word, God started speaking as a father. He's telling his, he is the wine. And we being the branches... We are the disciples that God expecting us to be much more fruit. We may be bearing fruit. That is not the thing. Because the time is limited. So God wants us to bear much more fruit for him. Hallelujah. So that the world can see Hallelujah. To Christ in us. What is I am trying to tell. What mean by bearing much fruit. Is that. Fruit. A tree bearing fruit. What it really shows. It's a healthy tree. Isn't it? It's in the right place. Getting the manure and everything. Fertilizer. Everything good. Care because of that the tree is growing great. But by looking at the tree, we know that whether that tree is really getting all the things that it needed to bear the fruit. But this is something that we need to, God expecting us, said my disciples, this is telling that, in that relationship, if I abide in you and you abide in us, in that relationship, what God wants us to bear fruit in, in us. 
through our life. So suddenly God spoke to my heart, especially with the COVID, lot of excuses that we can say that, why we are not bearing fruit, isn't it? All of us have a good excuse before the Lord. Lot of limitations. I wanted to take you to Genesis chapter 49, verse 22 to 24. Genesis chapter 49. Next verse, 20 till 24. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has taken me this last night, very specifically about Joseph. Amen. This is the verses that we can know that Jacob at the end uh, blessing the children and uh, looking at his life summary that Jacob is talking about Joseph. What is the first word he said? He is a ah, fruitful boy. Not only that, there is one favorable about him where it is planted by a bed. Hallelujah. But even though it was planted near the well, the two things was going against him. There was a wall. Amen. And also, arch, uh, no, arch, uh, what is it next? Archers were going against him. They shot him. Isn't it? This is the verse that God started speaking to my heart. Hallelujah. He, all of us, we can say that God has planted us in different places, different homes, different city, different uh, offices. Hallelujah. With the spirit inside of you enough to grow. Amen. Let us look at uh, 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 Jeremiah talking about. 17, verse 7 to, 7 to 9. Jeremiah 17, 7 to Amen. Hallelujah. Here, looking at it, we can clearly see that what do you mean by works? I mean, fruit of the fruit of the spirit, our, I know, how our works. Amen. Jesus, we been abiding in us. Uh, we abiding in him and he abiding in us. Definitely, there should be a fruit, what it really means. I wanted to focus that, how it look like when the world look at us. Hallelujah. Our actions. Amen. Hallelujah. Here it is talking about if you trust in the Lord, you are not only just trust and you are hope in only God, you will be like. Hallelujah. 
a tree that is planted and not going to be shaken by anything. Hallelujah. Many times we will be moved because our trust in so and so friends and people and our job and our dear ones. So once it is removed, we will be shaken and insecurity, discouragement, depression and feel rejection, fear come upon our life. God wants no, not totally trusting. Our hope should be in the Lord and Lord alone. That is why Abraham, hope against hope, he believed in the Lord. Even though he understood the decaying of his body, and he realized, uh, hallelujah, he's getting all oh, hallelujah, all difficulty and impossibility, he realized, uh, but he knew uh, he strengthened in his faith because he knew his hope is in the Lord. Hallelujah. So it is so important not only we abide in the Lord, you know, even still we don't have to bear fruit. That is why Jesus first telling you have to abide, you will bear fruit. That doesn't mean that, you know, we may have to. But it's very important there are certain things. He will saying that I will promise you we abide in him and he, we are, he in us and we in him. How that is possible? I was stay, uh, staying with... Uh, uh, you know, Finney uh, and uh, Bina yesterday night. I came to visit. But, you know, after a couple of days, I didn't come to abide there or stay there. A couple of days, even though they love me, they will start inquiring how, when I'm going, isn't it? It'll be trouble. Hallelujah. Abiding is not a seasonal when I need him, I am 24-7 living with him and staying and hearing and led by the Spirit, walk by the Spirit, talk by the Spirit, completely controlled by the Holy Spirit. They are called the children of God. Hallelujah. Nothing less than that. Hallelujah. Our whole life, everything completely led and controlled by the Lord Almighty. We are all people don't like to be controlled, isn't it? I don't know about you. Hey, hey, I'm a controlling freak. I don't like anybody telling me. I have hallelujah. That is why God sometimes allow certain archives to shoot at you. Hallelujah. So that yourself will be taken away. Who are these people for Joseph's life? You have his own brothers? Hallelujah. Who was, G who was Joseph? Joseph was a man. Hallelujah. Whose presence, God's presence was there with him. He was really living right. Hallelujah. That didn't avoid him having all these problems. But why God allowed Joseph to go through? Amen. God looking at eternity. Amen. Joseph... The story is not finishing Joseph becoming the minister and second to the king in the Egypt. The story is not finished. God's eternity plan for his children. Hallelujah. To take them to the promised land. Joseph had to come to Egypt before anybody. Hallelujah. We know all the things that Joseph came in. Now that's why 105 Psalms talking about God tested him. The chain was upon, can you read that Psalms? 105, 17 I think. 
that chain was upon him till until the time. Ah. Hallelujah. God gave Joseph a vision in his life. It is not about Joseph. It is all about his people reaching in the destiny according to the God's promise. God told Abraham, hallelujah, his children will reach in the promised land. For that God, hallelujah, gave a vision for Joseph, but hallelujah, so that through him, his promise can fulfill in the hallelujah, in their life. So God is telling through each one of us, it is not about us. Hallelujah. For giving a vision and do things in our life, it is more than us to, hallelujah, to save the city, to save the nation and the people around you. God has seen you. God has called you. God has given you the vision. Hallelujah. In his heart, eternity is the important thing. Hallelujah. I just wanted to remind it may seem like it is finished. I know in the four years, my, my dad and mom passed away. With their all, they finished the work. But my brother and also passed away. Soon after that, God spoke to me. I thought, done. Nothing can be, everything I felt that being taken away. And I thought when I was taking in the Cochin airport coming up, looking at down, I thought, what's the point of now going back to India? And uh, my mom always prayed for to be a part in the God's ministry in India. I thought it is done. Enemy will try to deceive you. Done, finished. But God sent me here today, I tell you. Hallelujah. Until God say it is finished, it has not finished. <laughs> that is why book of Job, Job talk very clearly. This is a word that God spoke to me, gave me hope. Can you read? Job chapter 14 Verse 7 and uh, 7 to 9. Job chapter 14, 7 to 9. Hallelujah. Things in your life look like it has been cut. God saying, tree has a hope. I wanted to ask you, do you have a hope? Hallelujah. Hope in the Lord. In your situation, God is faithful. Let enemy cut it off. Feel like hallelujah. Taken away your dear ones from your life. Taken away your job. Taken away your health. Do you have the hope? As long as smell of the water, the root will come out. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joseph, hallelujah, dreamer. He had a dream. Because of the dream, hallelujah, his own brothers hated. Put him in the pit. Hallelujah. Because of that, hallelujah, each season he was preparing for the next level. Prison. And then palace, hallelujah, is not, that is not over through him. 
Hallelujah. 70 of his family coming. That is not over. Hallelujah. Caution is becoming the land of Israel. Hallelujah. As the God promised to Abraham. Hallelujah. I wondered before closing. Here, I wanted to again focus. Another thing is he was near the well. Then what is it? There was a wall, isn't it? Amen. Wall has not gone by. Taken. God has not removed the wall. But here, Jacob is telling about Joseph. This wall helped him to grow. Hallelujah. How he grew. He grew over the wall. Not only he grew. He spread. He started bearing fruit. This side, other side, all over. Hallelujah. Not only spreading, he was a fruitful wall. Hallelujah. Sometimes we can spread. Hallelujah. Here we need to, hallelujah, important that God spreading you, your business, your life, hallelujah, blessings is not for you, hallelujah. It is bearing fruit. Wherever it was spread, he was bearing fruit. Hallelujah. Wall didn't stop him from growing. Hallelujah. The man who had a vision, he grew. grew. Nothing limited him. Nothing put a stop. He started growing over the walls. Hallelujah. Wherever wall was there, it was growing and bearing fruit. I wanted to show you three walls. And we can overcome. I don't know what about your walls that you feel like limiting or giving, uh, making you limitation from growing, you feel. But I wanted to show you this wall can overcome a man with his spirit. Hallelujah. By the power of the God Almighty. Let us look. Uh, uh, Psalms. Chapter 18, verse 29. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David is telling that. Amen. By him. Hallelujah. Yehoviah and Madil Chadikarakum. Madil on Dengil, Adin de Mumbil, Hallelujah. I will jump over the walls. To jump over the wall, it is not natural, it's a supernatural power that you and me need it. That is why we need to abide in His presence and in the Word. Hallelujah. This is all we talk about it, but it's a, a required. Hallelujah. Reading the word, presence of God. If you are tired, that day no prayer. That day no reading the Bible. It has uh, too much of work. Hallelujah. Guest comes, then our prayer and the reading is finished. Then the hallelujah. Oh, going to fellowship is finished. Hallelujah. Joseph's life, he had continuously. Hallelujah. That is why David, you know, when he saw the Goliath, what he said, he went Straight towards the Goliath. Go and read la lack of time. In the first, uh, you know, Samuel 17, you can see 28. How? Brothers said, they got angry. You are supposed to be taking care of the sheep. Yes, you may be trained in the army, but 40 days you could not go against the enemy. Even though I was a shepherd, I had the power to go against the enemy because it is a supernatural power. Hallelujah. 
When I see Goliath, I will not get shaken. When I see Goliath, I'll say, okay, okay. Good opportunity to God to hallelujah. Manifest his power. Hallelujah. When I word, hear the word cancer, it will not get scared. All the more reason to God to sow the hallelujah supernatural power of the healer. Hallelujah. Next one. Hallelujah. I wanted to take you to hallelujah. Another one. Not only he gives power to you, if God has called you, if some walls or mountains stand, yes, sir, Babel. Hallelujah. God called him. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. But he started working the hallelujah. Because of the enemy, they stopped working for some years. Hallelujah. But God said, no. Sir Babel, he's speaking. God is speaking to the mountain that's standing before Sir Babel. Oh, great mountain. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, come to the plain. Hallelujah. Oh, great thou. Uh, Zechariah chapter 4. We can see 9 and 10. He's speaking to the mountain. Everybody knows. That is why God is speaking to Zechariah, not by your might, not by our strength, but the Spirit says the Lord. Hallelujah. You are not able to accomplish, jump over the walls. Come on, get back into the Lord. Amen. Get the strength. If at one time you pray, you don't get it, go back again. Hallelujah. Till you, hallelujah, receive the strength because greater is in us than in the world. Hallelujah. Second thing, hallelujah, Joshua chapter 6 verse 1. What is that? Everybody knows. Jericho wall. This is very specifically built for because of Israel it's written. Because of Israel, they build a Jericho. Make sure no one will go in, no one will come out. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they know what is a possibility of people of God. So enemy have built a Jericho. Yeah, enemy knows you are a threat to the New York. You are the threat to the family. You are a threat to America. Because of that, he may build a Jericho wall so that you are stuck. You are not able to go do anything. Hallelujah. But what God said to them, Hallelujah. Don't say anything. What you have to do? Worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These days. Amen. Hallelujah. Not by words. Revenge belongs to God. Hallelujah. Don't do battle belongs to God. Hallelujah. What God expecting us? Start worshiping. Hallelujah. Rebuild your altar in your home. Hallelujah. These days. Amen. When you start worshiping. Hallelujah. The powers of the darkness in your child. The hallelujah. Around you. Even the community knows. Hallelujah. The powers of the darkness in the city knows. Who worshiping the Lord. God one day told me. You know the lion of Judah is roaring through prayer. In the spirit. You know you go and Google and see. If you lion usually when roar. In a 15 miles they can hear the roar. That's why in the wilderness when it roars. Every animal is run off. In that case, Lion of Judah, hallelujah, inside of you. When you are praying in the spirit, you are not just praying, hallelujah, through your voice. Amen, powers of the darkness around you can feel it, can sense it. You don't have to say poo, 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 and all. In your presence, things will start happening. Hallelujah. And I wanted to last. It's a time is already up. And last, Joshua chapter 2, verse
verse 15. I wanted to talk to young people specifically. 215. Amen. This is about the lady called prostitute Rahab. She, her dwelling place is where? On the wall. In the public place. You are available to everyone. You are dwelling place in the public. But God is telling it's time. There is a destiny for you. There is a plan and the purpose. I have a plan for you to prosper you. A good ending. Hallelujah. Not to harm us. But you know, she was not a Jew. Her, you know, she was known as a prostitute. But you know what? By faith, Hebrew chapter 11, 31. By faith. Hallelujah. She, what is received the spies, because of that, she didn't perish like unbel with the unbelievers. By faith. What did she do? When the, hallelujah, destruction, when the Israel came to destroy, hallelujah, she put in the window a red scarlet thread. Hallelujah. To what is that resembles, uh, uh, compares with? The blood of Jesus covers everything, removes every sin. And he wanted to take you to the destiny. Because of that, you know, James talking about Abraham. By works, Abraham, God count him righteous. Along with uh, Abraham, her faith, not only she had faith, works with it. Without works, hallelujah. If you think that you have a great power, that God store you, but you are not getting out, uh, winning souls, uh, what is the use of, of having greater power? Is that a great treasure that is inside of you? What use? Hallelujah. God has put that power of the Holy Spirit. The great fruit that you can bear is winning souls. And that is the reason. And you are not able to. You are available for all other things. You are dwelling place in the walls. God wants to come down into that window. Where the relationship opened that for the Lord. Direction you open through that prayer and relationship, God built a new relationship which more than you imagined, more than you have us, God will do that so that you can bear much fruit. So that Paul said, Agrippa, Raha, King, hallelujah, I have never been disobedient. For the heavenly calling that I have. Hallelujah. Even though in spite of all the things that was against Paul. He was being obedient to the heavenly calling. Are you and me? Are called to be bear much fruit. Are we obedient? In spite of all the list. Go and read in second. We all know second Corinthians 11. 22 onwards. He is giving a list of things that was against him. So let us take a moment, one minute. Heavenly Father, we are receiving this word. Help us, Lord. 24, it is written, Joseph could stand firm because the father of his, the God of his father's hand was with Joseph. Because of that, our kites shot at him, came against him. He stood, not only his bow stood firm, the hand that holded the bow stood firm. 
because Joseph father Jacob's hand was with him God who promises Isaiah 41 10 don't be afraid I am the God of Yahweh I will help you I will be with you my right hand of my will uphold you thank you father with your power with your right hand the mighty hand by holding us we will be able to run over the troops and jump over the walls and every wall Jericho wall that enemy has purposely intentionally put around us by the anointing by the worship God it is thank you Lord it is going to come down by our worship and help us Lord to come down where we open our windows to heaven these have to dwell with you to stay with you to hear from you to know your purpose and the purpose God for that enlighten our hearts so that we will know the purpose of your calling and we will know the inheritance of you and also to know the, the power that is will work in our faith so that we will be in fullness of Christ through that Lord so that we can bear much fruit for you and we can win souls for your kingdom so build your church Lord use us Lord help us Lord to bear fruit in all seasons with your power with your presence by your word for that we submit in your hands forgive us for not being able to bear fruit for you in our life but we are coming back time is limited God we wanted our city hallelujah oh, to possess the city if Rahab could able to hallelujah oh God the wind whole town and she helped to save the whole family and the land for you to possess the land here us Lord use us to possess the land there are work to be done so we submit in your hands thank you thank you Lord what you are going to do in this church in this city and we give you glory honor for that in Jesus name we pray Amen. thank you